bevel is a device that's used in surveying. Um, it has a laser at the top and you use a rod with a receiver on the end of it and that way you can measure uh, the change in the ground surface at a stream or wherever you're doing surveying. Trying to get this bubble into the center of the circle here. And you do that by moving these. You can see once it's in the center. And then when you turn it on, it will actually spin. And then you'd be ready to go and take your measurements with the receiver and the rod. And then this one is a self-leveling laser level, so you don't have to adjust it at all. You're just going to turn it on, and it's going to start doing its leveling. <laughs> when you're choosing a place to set it up, you want to have it somewhere that's a little bit higher than what you're going to be surveying because you're going to be using a rod that's pretty tall and it extends upwards so if the laser level is really low down you're not going to be able to measure anything like that. You also want to make sure that you either mark where you set up the tripod with a flag or you set it up over some sort of permanent thing at the site because you're measuring everything relative to this one elevation. So you have to make sure that no matter where you move the laser level, you're always going to be able to know what it is relative to that same elevation. So this is the receiver and it's going to pick up on that laser and it's gonna you can adjust the sound so that it's louder, or you can make it quieter or turn the sound off by pushing the on-off button repeatedly. Um, you attach it to the rod so that it's facing the forward part of the rod, this is the back of the rod. So you put it on just at the top here. You can see there's like a little indent in it, and that wants to be level. I guess on this rod with the top of the measurements. So, so then you just read from the back of the rod at the bottom of this highest point. So if this was beeping right here, we'd be reading five feet, 11 inches and seven eighths. So the rod will just extend up you always want to be going from the top piece, the smallest piece of the rod, and extend it fully before you move on to the next section where you will get the wrong measurements. You'll have to redo everything. It has buttons that you press in so that you can lower it. You're measuring the distance along the ground. So you'll have your stations, which is your X distance, along whatever you're measuring and then you'll also be measuring the elevation from the ground surface to the height of the instrument. The first thing that you want to do after you get your laser level set up and you know where you're going to serve it is you want to pick a back site which is a spot that you're going to survey to so that you can get the height of the instrument above that spot. And then when you subtract 
the foresights that you take along your cross section, you'll be able to relate everything back to that same first elevation that you're starting at, which is the ground under the instrument. So you want to pick somewhere that if you have to move the laser level as you're surveying, you'll probably be able to see this spot pretty well. So for here, there's a tree over here, and I'll just do a backside to that tree. You can see right here, it can tell that the laser from the instrument is higher than where this receiver is, so it's telling you to raise it. So once it reaches where it's level with the laser on the instrument, it's going to steadily beep. And then you're going to want to look Right up here, there's a level on the rod and you just want to try and get that bubble in the center of the circle so that you know that your rod is straight. It's still beeping, so then you would take your measurement from the back of the rod right here. It's six feet, 7.5 inches. So that would be your back sight. And you would use that to calculate the height of the instrument then. So then once you get your back sight and the height of the instrument figured out, you can start your cross section. So the distance along the measuring tape are called stations. So you start at zero and then you want to just move along wherever there seems like there's an elevation change so that you capture the whole change in elevation. Um, if it seems pretty flat, you might pick like, I'll do it every foot, I'll do it every half meter, whatever it feels like is gonna be enough to accurately show what's happening on the cross section. And there's a change in elevation here and you wanna make sure you're capturing the whole thing. You might go, you know, in very small increments until you think that you've shown the whole change in elevation there. Raise it up. And it actually has, in the receiver, it beeps differently. So you can't always see the screen where it's telling you if it needs to go up or down. It beeps really quickly if it needs to be moved down. And it beeps more slowly if you need to move it up. So that's just an easy way to know whether or not you need to go a little bit up or down. And then again, you just take your measurement at the back. You would record this at zero and whatever this is, and then you would move to your next station.